The amount of voltage drop depends on the circuit type and the number of resistors or loads in the circuit. Simple circuits contain a single load and therefore almost all of the voltage drops across the load. With all circuits, a small amount of voltage drops across the conductors that connect the load to the battery. Series circuits are like simple circuits with additional load devices. The load devices in a series circuit are wired in line with each other. Therefore, current must flow through all of the loads to complete the circuit. Based on what you have learned, which of the two loads would you expect to consume or drop most of the voltage in the circuit shown? When you are ready, click on the correct load to continue. Correct. In a series circuit, the load with the most resistance drops the most voltage. In this example, the resistor with the value of 10K or 10,000 ohms has the most resistance. You may be wondering how much voltage drop is acceptable. Well, that depends on the type of circuit and if there are any symptoms. Circuit conductors usually drop more voltage in high current circuits than in low current circuits. Remember that current is measured as amperage. When diagnosing high current circuits, remember that it's often normal to see a voltage drop of 0.2 to 0.5 volts. The normal, acceptable voltage drop is important to consider when diagnosing symptoms on high current circuits. Unwanted voltage drop before or after the load device prevents the component from operating at full capacity. Symptoms of unwanted voltage drop include slow moving motors and dimly lit lights. Unwanted voltage drop is caused by unwanted resistance somewhere in the circuit. Remember, by design, most of the voltage is supposed to drop across the load device. Electronic circuits are very sensitive to voltage drop. A voltage drop of 0.2 volts on a sensor circuit has a greater impact on performance than the same voltage drop on a starter circuit. Dropping 0.2 volts on a sensor circuit can drastically change the value interpreted by a control module. To recap, open circuit voltage testing is limited to verify available voltage and continuity. Closed circuit testing can easily identify voltage drop caused by unwanted resistance. Therefore, closed circuit testing is the preferred method for measuring circuit voltage. Voltage drop testing measures the difference in voltage between two points in a circuit. This method can be used to identify and isolate unwanted resistance in specific circuit sections or components. Remember, current must be flowing when performing this test. Finally, remember that voltage drop has a greater impact on low current electronic circuits than it does on high amperage output circuits. A 0.5 volt drop may not produce any noticeable symptoms on a high amperage lamp circuit, but that same 0.5 volt drop will likely cause noticeable symptoms in an electronic circuit.